They were already talking shit about you to everyone. They were already telling everyone the stories of what they did to you. They were saying you did that to them all the while you were with them. That way, when you leave and they immediately begin to tell their version of the story, everyone's going to believe them because they already heard all these bad things that you did to this person. And that's why they play the victim so well. They've been doing it the whole time. So that video was 100% true. A lot of people think the narcissist starts the smear campaign after the relationship ends, but it actually is actually a lot of times during the actual relationship. A lot of narcissistic people are very, very preemptive and start to bad talk you or spread rumors about you or project what they do to you to other people. They'll tell other people that you are treating them terribly, that you're cheating on them or that you're driving them crazy and things like that. All the while, it's actually them doing the same things to you. But because they've already been doing this for such a long period of time, when the relationship ends, however it ends, they already have this pre-built in story as to why that they left you. That way, if they're cheating on you or if they leave you for someone else, people will understand them. Well, you did say that they were driving you crazy and that y'all wouldn't, y'all energy was, ma was mismatched and things like that. So if somebody comes to you during your relationship and tells you that your significant other or spouse or one of your parents is talking junk about you or spreading rumors about you, believe them a lot of times, especially if you're dealing with a narcissist or a toxic person, because that could save you a lot of time, effort and energy. Because once the relationship ends, you'll be pointing the finger at them and they, ha they have already been pointing the finger at you months before, years before. That way, y'all, they have a reason to be the victim. Hey, I moved on quickly because, you know, I was getting treated so terribly. I, what do you expect me to do? I can, a person can only take so much bad treatment. And be very, very careful when you're dealing with narcissistic people like that because people like this will literally file police reports on you, call the police on you, um, file restraining orders on you and, and things like that just to get ahead of you. Just to get ahead of you telling the truth about them. A preemptive smear campaign is a way for a narcissist to get ahead of the truth about themselves. A way for them to preemptively protect their reputations when inevitably you come out and start telling your truth. So people will be less inclined to believe you because they've been saying this about you for years or months or whenever they started it. And here's the kicker, y'all. If you break up with them or they break up with you when they've been talking so much junk about you, if you take them back, it looked like it looks like all the rumors were true and it allows them to look like a good person because they forgave you for all the crazy stuff that you were doing to them and all the crazy things that you put them through. So if you feel like the narcissist is spreading rumors about you and things like that, document things and protect your truth. Record conversations if necessary and be safe while doing that because that can set some people off. And telling your truth, telling the truth is not a smear campaign. So if you tell the truth about them, it's not smearing them or spreading rumors about them. Hope this helps.